Welcome to Stamp It Up with Kathy Goodman. Today we are making a shaker card using this Make a Splash stamp set from Stamping Up. It is a hostess stamp set. We are going to start with our card base. Our card base is Bermuda Bay. It is five and a half by eight and a half, scored at four and a quarter. And then we have a polka dot um, Bermuda Bay paper that we have placed over the top of a white mat and we've cut out our um, piece for our shaker card for our shaker dome. Our dome is right here. This is what we're going to put over the top. We're also going to use um, the other, the negative part that we cut out from our fish t um, bowl. Um, that's what we're going to actually stamp on. So let's set this aside and we will start with our Calypso Coral and we are going to stamp our fish right in the middle. We'll pull in a piece of scratch paper so we can do our stamping on that because it goes over some of the stamps go right over the edge a little bit okay so we've got our fish and we've got our calypso coral ink we're gonna put our fish in the middle of our tank right like that you gonna press down firmly and then pull the stamp off while you hold your fish bowl down then, while we have the Calypso Coral ink out, we're going to take our tag and we are going to stamp Just Keep Swimming. And we're going to do that, try to get it in the middle of our tag here. Stamp it down. And then gently remove it. Oh, well, it looks like we got it pretty straight. Okay, I've included an extra um, tag in case you have trouble stamping the first one. You can always turn it over and use the back side if, if you need extra tries at stamping it straight. We're going to place that on that portion and now we can close up our Calypso Coral ink and we're going to go to our Soft Suede ink. Our Soft Suede ink we are going to use for um, the gravel in the bottom of our fishbowl. So we're gonna tap it gently in this soft suede ink, and then we're gonna stamp it on our scratch paper once before we stamp it on our fishbowl. And this stamp is just a little bit bigger than your fishbowl, so you just wanna make sure that you get all the bottom portion of it covered. Looks like we got it good. There, we can close up our soft suede ink and we're going to get our granny apple green out and we're going to put our greenery in our fish tank. So we're going to stamp this one on each side and then we're going to put this little grass one right in the middle of the bottom of the fish tank. There we go. We can um, set our granny apple green aside. We are going to get our sequins. We use some woven thread sequins. So you just take a pinch of them out of your little container. You're going to um, place them in the middle of, of your fish tank but before we do that let's pull in our card base so we can glue our fish tank in the middle of our card base first I got ahead of myself here okay so we're gonna put that right there so we make sure this is straight and you want to hold it in place with one of your hands um, if you're right-handed you would hold it in place with your left hand Okay, now we're going to take and we're going to, see I used both sides of this one. 
Oh, before we glue that on, let's make our water across the top. Let's use our watercolor pencil and make our water line. We're just gonna make a small line across it. You can take your blender pen and blend it in. That way you can see the water at the top of your fishbowl. Okay, so now we're gonna take and we're gonna put glue all the way around our outside edges. There we go. And then we wanna make sure this hasn't moved, that we have it right where we want it. And we're gonna glue our fish tank right in the middle. We're going to remove this. Now we can add our sequence. So now we're going to take a pinch of the sequence. We're going to put them right in the middle of our fishbowl. There we go. Then we're going to set these aside, put the lid back on so we don't get them all over creation. Okay, I'm going to bring that in to hold that in place while I... On your shaker dome, there's a double stick tape that you need to remove the backing off of. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take and gently set that right over the top of our fishbowl. Try to get it even on all the sides, and then once you get it where you want it, make sure you press it down firmly, and that way your sequins won't come out. Then we're going to take our top portion of our card, and we're going to put that on. So we've got that. Let's put glue all the way around the edges. And then do it about a quarter of an inch from the fishbowl. Put a bead of glue all the way around. That will help hold it secure to your card so it doesn't um, rise up with a funny bubble on it. Okay, so now what you do is once you put this back on here, you want to make sure you get it straight. So once you get it straight, you want to press down firmly all the way around and then we're going to glue our tag that we've already glued together we're just going to put it on our card base with liquid glue so we'll put that right there there we go so now that is all done in our little sequence move around inside Let's set that aside while we do the inside of our card. We are going to bring in our Calypso Coral ink and we're going to stamp the fish across the bottom of our card. Um, before we stamp our fish, let's put our designer series paper across the inside of the bottom of our card and we're going to do that then we'll grab our fish we'll stamp it in the calypso coral ink we're going to start over at this side and we're going to stamp it full strength once and then the next time you stamp it it's going to be what we call a stamped off so it's going to be a lighter version and then the third one is going to be off our card just a little bit so I brought in some scratch paper so I can keep my work surface clean okay so now we got like two and a half fish across the bottom of our card we are going to take our watercolor pencil and we're going to make our little fish bubbles. So you know how fish blow bubbles, that's how they breathe in the water. We're going to make our little fish bubbles. If you wanted to, you could use the stamp that came with your 
making a make a splash stamp set there's a little fish bubble stamp in there make sure that when you use your blender pen that you always clean it off when you're done to make sure um, the next time you use it you don't um, mix inks and then it turns out a color you don't want okay now we're going to glue the inside into our card I'm going to place it right here and push down all the way around once you have it so it looks like I'm a little bit crooked. Let's move that a little bit. There, that's a little better. There we go. Okay, so now we've got both of our shaker cards. This one we have with, that was my sample. And this is the one that we just created together. Thank you very much for watching and have a blessed day.